The purchasing module inside Sage Intac allows us to create requisitions, convert them into purchase orders or subcontracts or other commitments. We can receive goods or services against those purchase orders and then receive the invoice. We only have to enter the data in the transaction one time. There's no duplication of data entry, regardless of where you start in the process. This purchasing WordPress we have open here gives us a visual representation of starting points. We could start by entering a purchase requisition. Sage and Tag allows us to create different types of transactions. For example, different types of purchase requisitions. If I hover over this dropdown, you can see I've got two possible purchase requisition transaction types. These are configurable for each individual implementation of Intac. In this demo instance, the two that I have are AP Draft and Purchase Requisition. My workflow creates the purchase requisition, which moves to purchase orders or commitments and then continues on to an invoice. Whereas the AP Draft skips the commitment and jumps right to the invoice. Now, that might be used in a scenario where say, you got an employee, he's on a job, and they use their credit card to purchase some materials needed for that job, and needs to skip the commitment status and jump right into the invoice. However, you on the accounting side, you might still want to record it as a requisition so you have proof of the approval workflow that it went through. Here's another visual indicator of that workflow. My AP draft transaction goes right into creating an invoice, whereas my purchase requisition transaction can either be related as a purchase order for a job or purchase order for inventory. These are the two different workflows I configured for this environment. Now, we're back on my purchasing workbench. You can see those two starting points of transactions. Some users might be able to skip the requisition altogether and jump right to the purchase order depending on the security policy of your company and how you want it set up. In this example, I've got five different types of commitment that could be entered into the system. I've got a standard purchase order, which might be job related, subcontract agreements, purchase order for stock or perhaps inventory replenishment of say like business office supplies, and then I've got PO change orders and dropship purchase orders. Those are just five types. I, I could have as many as I wanted to kick off different workflows or approval policies.